<coughs> it's important to realise that the genesis of yesterday's tax announcements lie in the changes made by that chappy called Cullen in 1999 when driven by his fantasy of what he called, quote, rich pricks, he introduced an envy tax. And all this does is remove the envy tax that uh, Cullen brought in in 1999. And that enables people, that the, the, the true professional people of this country, such as doctors and, uh, and, and um, hard-working New Zealanders, uh, that, yeah, exactly, to enable them to get on. With, who, who, they were the people that uh, that shameful Minister of Finance hit in trying to get at what he called rich pricks. And the fact of the matter is, as we know now, that in fact none of the of real order. rich people... Point of order. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Uh, Stuart, uh, Mr. Chair, I actually take personal offence at calling Dr. Cullen shameful because that, I think that is a slur on his character that I, have, that I take offence at. Yeah. Um, th th there's two measures here. One is that members can take offence and register that to the chair. The second test, I guess, is whether or not uh, the offence is in fact one which uh, should accord some response from the chair. And the kind of test over that, and I think if you look at uh, Speaker Rawlings 55.1, it is whether or not the House itself is offended. Otherwise, we'd be jumping up and down the whole time. But uh, having said that to that member, I would say to the other, that the member on the other side, that when we start getting into what we might call verge debate, the House itself kind of descends down to a level where it's not productive. And this is early in the day, and can we just sort of say, have a bit of generosity? Thank you. Paul Quinn. You, you mean go soft on the opposition? I'm happy to go very soft on the opposition because one only has to look at the straw polls that have flowed across the country. 80%, 80% of the populace, 80% of the people that they allege that they represent are actually for this budget. And it's about time, actually, the opposition benches conceded that they are out of touch. Out of touch not only with the ordinary New Zealander, but also out of touch right across the board, across every uh, um, career um, people, persons, across uh, professionals, across ordinary working people that they allege that they represent in this House. And, in fact, what the polls demonstrate that are flowing from this budget is that people are actually supporting this government. And that's why they voted us in, to do and undertake measures like this. And I know that, in fact, that that's going to be hard for them to actually uh, accept. But my advice, my advice oh, during the course please. of this budget is that, in fact, <laughs> if you actually concede that this is an outstanding budget no. and, in fact, quickly move on through this debate, you will be able to go home early this afternoon and actually get re-engage, re-engage with your constituents and find that they support this budget. So that's my advice to the opposition. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair.